Dell Dimps, fired as general manager of the New Orleans Pelicans. Stephen A., can I just tell you, I believe he's being made a patsy of. I cannot believe he's the fall guy for, in their own coach's words, an absolute dumpster fire in New Orleans. What do you see? I think you're right. Um, and I, 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 I put it on the air because Wojnarowski tweeted about it, um, like, with five minutes left in the, in, in the show for first take. And it's absolutely – what Alvin Gentry highlighted, and it's put uh, Dell Demps in the line of fire. But I will say this. Dell Demps had been on the job for nine years. There was only three playoff or two playoff appearances. I actually was three playoff appearances in that span. They had gotten past the first round just once. He did have ample opportunity to get the job done, and in some people's eyes, he did not. Now, where you and I really, really align in our thinking is the fact that when he wasn't able to, um, you know, when, when – Anthony Davis just dropped it on them via Clutch Sports and Rich Paul. You had them in their own way speaking out. Uh, you had Magic Johnson obviously speaking out about the Pelicans. And so that put uh, the Pelicans and specifically Dell Demps in the line of fire. Because when you have those people speaking out against you, you know, names like Magic Johnson, LeBron James, Rich Paul, and those guys, if their name is attached to a story that obviously negatively affects you or enlightens people about you in, in some sort of negative light, that's not going to be a plus uh, for a GM, particularly an African-American GM, uh, who has had nine years to get the job done and failed to do so. And so when you look at it from that perspective, uh, it's predictable what transpired. It's not overly shocking. Um, if I'm surprised by anything is that I thought they would at least wait until the end of the season to make this move. The fact that it's happened now is slightly surprising, but it's far from earth-shattering. Clearly, they've wanted to move in a different direction. That's the scuttlebutt that we were hearing in the weeks leading up to the trading deadline, um, and it's now reached fruition. You know, Stephen A., what I can't figure out is the timing, man, because, um, and you correct anything I get wrong here, but my understanding was that he was executing ownership's wishes in New Orleans in not trading AD at that time and not trading AD to the Lakers. He was in lockstep with Gail Benson and, and, and everyone else, in New Orleans, what I if you told me today, and you did, and, 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 and I can see it, and anybody can see it, that he just didn't do his job over nine years to entice Anthony Davis to stay. He didn't build a team around him that avoided this situation in the first place. I would get that argument. But the timing, right. the timing of now makes it look like, why? He did what you wanted well, him to do. Well, here's where it gets interesting, Will. Here's where it gets interesting. And, and this, is, this is not me speaking to anybody this morning about it, Will. This is just what I deduced from my weeks of reporting on this story. I think the key to all of this that was most damaging to Dell Demps was Rich Paul and Clutch Sports revealing that the reason that they publicized Anthony Davis' desire to be traded was because they didn't trust that Dell Demps was taking their request back to ownership in the fashion that they were disseminating it to him. Mm -hmm. That's what I get the impression of. Anthony Davis getting checked for an MRI. Anthony Davis didn't want to be there. Anthony Davis giving indications that he didn't want to be there. Wanting to, hide, to, to, to address it with discretion behind the scenes, not publicizing it or putting the Pelicans in, an, you know, in an, a bad situation. They swear that it's something that they tried to do with Dell Demp, but Dell Demp, they didn't trust that he was going back to ownership hmm. and revealing it to them, the details that they want to reveal. So essentially that forced their hand. So if you're the Pelicans, you're thinking about all of this bad PR, the kind of stuff that you've been involved in. And if you reach the conclusion that it happened because the agents that have to deal with Dell Demp had no respect for him, no trust for him, or the combination of the two, then that would incentivize you as an ownership to move in a different direction. Will Kane filling in for Stephen A. Smith today on the Stephen A. Smith radio show on ESPN Radio. <laughs> Hanging out with Stephen A. I know I only have you for another six minutes or so, Stephen A., so let me see if I can hit two topics with you. Um, sure. One, you've, you've alluded to twice now, and I talked about it earlier. we got to start being real honest. And I don't think honesty means negative or positive. It just means honest about right. Rich Paul, Clutch Sports, and LeBron James. You're talking okay. about the role they played in these Anthony Davis negotiations, and I think we've all come to right. see how powerful they are.